the next week, yeah, not this week. I'm like, uh, good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to uh, Lion Stadium tonight for tonight's game. Uh, before we get to that, we'd like to go ahead and take a few minutes and recognize our senior football players and senior cheerleaders. Um, up first, we have number four, Malachi Dorsey. Malachi is being escorted by his mom, Shamika, sister, Solai, and brother, Dante, and cousin, Carly. He has been on the varsity football team for three years and a starter for two of those years. His accomplishments in football is making first team defensive back during his junior year. His future goals are to continue his football career at a four-year university and major in sports medicine. He would like to give a special thanks to his mom for motivating him and being his backbone, his brother and sister for challenging him to be his best, Carly for being his day one and the best big sister. He would also like to thank his teammates for giving their all and his coaches for pushing him every day. Rest in love, Dad, Granny, and Kyrie. Up next, we have number six, Caden Glass. Caden is being escorted by his parents, Wendy and Randy Glass, his siblings and other family members. He has been on the varsity football team for three years and a starter for two of those years. His accomplishment in football is placing second team all district running back his junior year. His future goals are to join the United States Navy and pursue a career in welding. He would like to give a special thanks to his mom and dad and to Coach Waltz for always keeping him straight in school, Coach Hill for always pushing him to be better, and Seth and Zoe for always being by his side. He also cannot forget his boys Casey, Marquise, and Gage. Much love for y'all. Up next is number 12, Gage Satterfield. Gage is being escorted by his parents, Misty and Jason Reed, his girlfriend, Chloe Walker, and Nana Terry Willis. He has been on the varsity football team for two years. His future goals are to go to a technical school in Marshall and become a lineman. First, he would like to thank God for all his blessings and would like to give a special thanks to his mom, dad, and Nana for bringing him to church. I'm sorry, for bringing him lunch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coach Watts for putting all the time and effort into this program. We love you, Coach. Up next is number 27, Isaac Goldsmith. Isaac is being escorted by his parents, Terry and Jeanette Goldsmith, and his sisters, Deandra and Denisha. He has been on the varsity football team for two years. His football accomplishments include first team all district his junior year. He was a regional qualifier in track his junior year, an area qualifier his freshman and sophomore year. As drum major this year, the band placed second in the UIL state marching competition, bringing home the silver medal. His future goals are to attend Grambling State University and major in forensic science to become a detective. He would like to give a special thanks to his mother for believing in him when he did not believe in himself and thank his father for teaching him everything he knows about football and all the people that supported him since he was able to walk for the first time. How's it Goldsmith? Up next is number 45, Dalton Daniel. Dalton is being escorted by his parents, Jennifer and Shane Daniel. He has been on the varsity football team for two years. He's a member of the National Honor Society and is the president of the New Boston FFA chapter and has received his Lone Star FFA degree. He also placed fifth at the regionals this junior year in powerlifting and is hoping to advance this year. His future goals are to get a bachelor's degree and become a Texas game warden. He would like to give a special thanks to God for his many blessings and opportunities, even the struggles that have been bestowed upon him. They have only made him stronger and shaped him into the man he is today. He would also like to thank his mom and dad for being active and involved in his life. They have taught him many things throughout the years, but most of all, they've taught him how to become a good Christian man and give 110% in everything he does. He is very lucky to call them his parents. I love you all. Dalton Daddy. Up next is number 51, Wyatt Allen. Wyatt is being escorted by his parents, Doug and Tanya Allen, his sisters, Brittany and Whitney, 
and brother JD. He has been on varsity football team for two years as center. His plans after high school are to attend Stephen F. Austin University, where he plans to major in kinesiology. After college, he plans to pursue a career in coaching and special education. He'd like to give a special thanks to Dad, Mom, JD, Britt, Witt, and to all of my friends, especially Dalton, Patrick, Hannah, and Kayla. Also, thank you to Coach Waltz for sticking it out with us. And last but never least, he thanks God. Wyatt Allen. Up next is number 71, Marquise Frazier. Marquise is being escorted by his mother, Sarita Miles, and his sister, Monique. He has been on varsity football for three years as a starter. After high school, he plans on attending Tyler Junior College, where he will pursue a degree in culinary and business administration. He would like to give a special thanks to Mom, the whole coaching staff, and my boys for walking with me tonight. Marquise Frazier, everyone. Up next is number 77, Dawson Parker. Dawson is being escorted by his dad, David Parker, mom and stepdad, Carrie and Lonnie Blancid, and Lori Smith, and his special guest, Courtney Blancid, that just made it home from the military to surprise him. He has been on varsity football for three years. His accomplishments include never giving up when it was getting hard, also surviving Coach Hill's running every day at the end of practice. After high school, he would like to enter the workforce in hopes of one day owning his own body shop. He would like to give a special thanks to all of his family. Thank you for always believing in me and standing by me no matter what. He would also like to thank all of his teachers who have helped him better himself in the classroom. Dawson Parker. Up next is number 79, Casey Taylor. Casey is being escorted by his parents, Princess and Henry Taylor, and nephew Zeke and Legend. He has been on the varsity football team for two years and a starter for, the, for those two years. After high school, he plans to attend Tyler Junior College and then transfer to UT Tyler and pursue a degree in education and become a high school football coach. He would like to give a special thanks to Coach Waltz and Coach Hill for always pushing him and showing him how to become a better person, even though they make the players run until they get tired. <laughs> Thank you to Mrs. Parker and Mrs. Duffer for always being there for him through the tough times. We miss you, Ashley. Thank you, Next, we'd like to recognize our senior cheerleaders. Our first cheerleader is Savannah Hill. Savannah is being escorted by her parents, David, Michelle, sister Brittany, and grandma Vicki. She has been a varsity cheerleader for the past four years. Her accomplishments have been awarded All-American for two years and nominated for all four. She has helped with little cheer camps and special Olympics for three years. After high school, she plans to attend college to firstly pursue an associate's degree and in pursuit of a bachelor's degree. She'd like to give a special thanks to her mom for always being there for her and checking up on her when she needed it most. Savannah Hill. Our next cheerleader is Olivia Grace Duffer. Olivia is being escorted by her family Lynn, Rhett, and Claire Duffer, Drew, Chrissy, and Dax Hutchinson, Brooklyn, Caden, Carolyn, and Mike McCrary. Olivia has been a varsity cheerleader all four years of high school. Her accomplishments as a cheerleader have been an All-American nominee her freshman, junior, and senior years, and an All-American cheerleader her senior year. After high school, she plans to attend the University of Arkansas where she will pursue a degree in psychology. She would like to give a special thanks to her mother and father for always supporting her and to her sister for being her biggest role model. And a special thank you to Libby and Marley for being the little sisters I never had and to the rest of the girls on the team for making my senior year one to remember. To Hannah, Zoe, and Savannah for being her girls throughout the years 
and to Mrs. May for pushing and encouraging the team. Olivia Grace Duffer. Up next we have Hannah Crook. Yeah. Hannah is being escorted by her parents Nikki and Sean Crook, brother Chase Crook, Grammy Retta McCullough, and Grumpy Curtis McCullough. Hannah has been a varsity cheerleader for four years. Her accomplishments as a cheerleader have been All-American nominee for Motion and Leadership for three years. After school, she plans to attend UCA to become a speech pathologist. She would first like to thank Mrs. May for putting up with her for four years. I know I'm a handful most of the time, but you know I love you. Next, she would like to thank her Grammy, Grumpy, and Mom for sitting through all kinds of weather just to watch her cheer. To my little brother, even though I didn't get the opportunity to cheer you on from the sidelines, I'll always be your biggest supporter, even if it is from the stands. You make me proud, little bro. Next, you would like to thank Zoe for being a great friend and for all the countless memories, Olivia and Savannah, for being great leaders and bringing so much talent to the team and for the moment I've been dreading all week. She wants to thank Riley, Marley, and Bailey. Bailey, thank you for all the laughs and most fun memories. Marley, thank you for always being yourself and showing me the bright part of life. And Riley, thank you for loving me and my family like your own. I know I'm hard on you, but it's just because I love you. I'm going to miss you guys so much. Hannah Crook. Up next is Zoe Braley. Zoe is the daughter of Kinsey Braley and Craig Soman. She's being escorted by her parents and three brothers. Zoe has made lasting friendships and many memories during her three years on the New Boston High School Varsity Cheer Team. She was nominated for All-American Cheerleader three years in a row at an NCAA Cheer Camp. She plans to go into the workforce after she graduates and take college classes while she explores her, for new career opportunities. Zoe would like to give a special thanks to Mrs. May for pushing us to do our best and the cheer team for making her senior year the greatest. Zoe Braley. Up next is our Sparkle cheerleader, Karima Valentine. Karima is being escorted by our mother, Tanya Walker, and grandmother, Beverly Burks. She is a Sparkle cheerleader and manages to find her smile when she is cheerleading. She loves being a part of the team and is full of spirit, and more than anything, she loves to put on her uniform and be pretty. Her future goals are to continue to be a bright light in her family and community. She can imagine herself as a fashionista because she loves dressing up in addition to getting her hair and nails done. This evening goes to her grandmother, Beverly Burks. She goes above and beyond for her, making sure she always puts her best foot forward. I love you, Granny, and am so very thankful for you. Karima Valentine. Our final senior for tonight is Sparkle Cheerleader Kristen Easley. Kristen is being escorted by her mom, Mary Harris, and her stepdad, David Harris. She has been a Sparkle Cheerleader for four years, and her accomplishments in cheerleading include being head Sparkle Cheerleader for the 2021-2022 school year. After high school, she plans to work at Cornerstone Retirement Community as an assistant to the activities director. She also wants to continue learning fashion design and one day design her own clothes. She would like to give a special thanks to her parents for always helping her be the best she can be, to her sister Sarah for always being there when she needed her, and to her grandma, Judy, for making sure she put Jesus first in her life. Kristen Easley, everyone. Let's give it up for all our seniors this year. Good evening and welcome to this football game between the New Boston Lions and Jefferson Bulldogs. 
This game is being conducted according to the rules and regulations of the University Interscholastic League. Regardless of the outcome of tonight's game, all the players have been pro have proven their willingness to work and sacrifice in order to achieve athletic excellence. We ask that as a spectator, you consider the time and effort each of these teams, coaches, and athletes have put forth. Cheer these young athletes, applaud them, but do not, through any of your actions, cause them to doubt the value of athletics. By your conduct, allow these young people to feel pride in their communities and schools. While your sportsmanlike actions may play only a small part in the outcome of this game, it will play a greater role in continuing to encourage competitive athletics. We also ask that you show your appreciation for the students who will be taking part indirectly in tonight's game. The cheerleaders, the bands, the pep squads, and the students have deployed their teams at home and away. These young people play an integral part of their team's success. The officials for this game have been mutually agreed upon by the school officials for both schools. Their role is not unlike those of players, coaches, teachers, and school administrators. Without them, this game would not be possible. Their knowledge and application of the rules are a result of annual testing, years of study, and continual participation in clinics to further refine their understanding of the game. We ask you, as students, parents, and citizens, to demonstrate the kind of respect for these officials you would extend to any dedicated person in a position of authority. This means that you as a fan should not criticize the players on either team, should not boo the officials, should not have alcoholic beverages on school, public school grounds since it is a violation of state law. Should be courteous to the visiting fans, should cheer for your team, and should show respect for injured players on both teams. As you now, please stand for our prayer, voiced by Matthew Hunter, the Boston High School senior. Dear God, tonight we gather in your name and dear children. We thank you that we are able to gather safely. We are thankful that our visiting friends made it here safely. We pray that you keep everyone safe during and after the game, as well as after today. We are thankful for the health of everyone here tonight, and we thank you that you sent your son to die for us. In your name we pray, amen. And now, the school song from visiting Jefferson High School. New Boston High School song. National Anthem when both teams return to the field. Right now I'd like to introduce the high school cheerleaders for the 2021-22 season. Senior Zoe Braley. Hannah Crook. Olivia Duffer. And Savannah Hill. Junior Victoria Byrne. 
Cassie Corians. Keandra Ganaway. Romayan A. McChester. Sophomores, Riley Adelot. Bailey Gifford. Keona Haney. Samaya Robertson. And Molly Thomas. The freshman, Olivia Horton. And Riley Runnels. Rocky, Alexa Gooden. And our special today for tonight, Kristen Easley, Karima Valentine, Bailey Jones, Kelly Morales Garcia, and Cheyenne Brooks. Provides contest for referee Eddie Williams, umpire Jer Jerry Freeney, head linesman Derek Colbert, line judge Devin Anderson, and back judge David Mond. The New Boston Athletic Booster Club would like to thank Judge Addison, Judge Miller, Judge Henry, Judge Hawkins, County Clerk Tina Petty and Treasurer Donna Burns for working on home side concession. Also District Clerk Roy Carraway and staff for working on visitor side concession. Remember you can visit the concession stand tonight for some Chick-fil-A, five dollars for a sandwich, or get a meal for eight. Do you have wine spirit? The New Boston Athletic Booster Club will be giving away a prize to the most spirited person during tonight's game.
<laughs> I've been through worse times than this, so that don't bother me at all. Yeah, that don't bother me. Yeah, I've been through it. I know how I do Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the south end of the stadium and on our flag as the New Boston High School Band plays our national anthem.
Captains for tonight's game for the Bulldogs, number 18, Parker Grubbs, 27, Ryan Yeeter, 60, Lucas Pulver, 35, Joseph Woods. And for the Lions, number four, Malachi Dorsey, six, Caden Glass, 27, Isaac Goldsmith, and 45, Dalton Daniels. Jefferson has won the toss and elected to receive. for the Bulldogs, number three, Cameron Williams, and number five, Luke McMullen, waiting to kick off, number 30, Manuel Valdez. Cameron Williams on the carry. Final 
Bob is bringing him down. Pick up a six, leaving the ball off face. Still up in, up in five. Let's go, Bob! Malachi Dorsey back deep to the line. Number six, Dominic Rivers in front formation. Is dead. Lines 28 with Lyons to take over first and 10. Sean Whitaker there for the stop. Pick up the three, second down, seven. Right up the middle. Steve Washington. Sean Whitaker. Ryan Eater in there for the stop. Pick up the one, third down six. Out to Caden Glass. He stopped by the Travion Smith. Fourth down and four for the line with Connor Bobbitt dropping back into front formation. And Justin Carter dropping back deep to the Bulldogs. Second down, six. Cameron Williams, up close to first down territory, brought down by 32, Willie Henson. First down for Jefferson. First and ten, ball spotted at the 33 yard line. Twenty 
Dorsey back deep to the line to number six, Dominic Rivers in front formation. Probably down. Boston's 37 yard line, but why don't they go to the first and 10? on the field. 14, Hashim Hector on the stop. A legal procedure against the Lions will step off five yards. The Lions will be facing second down nine. Go. 
27, Will Smith, the carrier. Off to the line of scrimmage. Hashim Hector, Ryan Yeeter there to make the tackle. Lines will be facing third down 10 on the 48 yard line. Just outside the 10, first and 10 for the Lions. Make it first and goal for the Lions. Bad and down to the ball carrier. Travis Harris Jr. in on the stop. Ball will be spotted at the eight yard line, second and goal. Last out forward inside the five. Drop by Cortavian Massingill. Ball will be spotted at the five. Third and goal. Also, District Clerk Lori Caraway and staff are working in building your size in the Thank you. 
Second down one, the ball spotted at Jefferson 38. by 30 Steve Washington. Ball uh, marked at the 33 yard line. First and 10. there to bring him down. Pick up a four, second down six. Smith and Cortavion Massengill, they're waiting on him. Lions be facing third down six. Ball spotted up to 29. Scrimmage. Travion Smith and Chris Bowman there to make the stop. Fourth and seven for the Lions. Charge from New Boston, their first of the half.
Battle for the Touchdown! Touchdown, Ryan! Manuel Valdez in for the PAC. Kind of Bob at the holder. The nick is good. Nine minutes and 15 seconds to go in the first half. Two boxes, 14, Jefferson zero. Seven Dawson Parker in on the tackle. Give you second down eight. Against 
Third down 12 for the Bulldogs. Run fast and complete. For number five, Luke McMullen. And number five, Demetrius McChester in on coverage. On fourth down, number six, Dominic Rivers drops into punt formation for Jefferson. Malachi Dorsey back deep for the Lions. Markers. Movement on Jefferson, that'll be five yards back on. Ball's now spot at the 44, fourth and 17. Smith dropped in the backfield to Travion Smith and on the tackle. Lost of two, second down 12. Judson Carter there on the stop. He's in the line facing third down two. Well, then the dial four for the first down. Top by 14, Hashim Ector. Ball started at the 28 yard line, first and 10 lines. Down by Massengill. Pick up a seven, second down three.
Jonah Sanchez stopped in the backfield. Chris Bowman there for the stop. Lions be facing third down five. Ball spotted at the 33. Goldsmith round right in. Chris Bowman and Eric Burns there for the stop. Leaving the Lions facing a fourth and four. Connor Bobbitt in, the, in punt formation for the Lions. Number two, Cortavian Massimil back deep for the Bulldogs. yard line where Jefferson will take over first and ten. goes down. Isaac Goldsmith there to make the tackle. Six yards lost, six yard loss, second down, 16. McMullen for the touchdown. <laughs> number six, Dominic, Rick, Dominic Rivers in for the PAT out of the hole of number 10, Judson Carter. Good. It was 3.08 left to go in the second quarter. New Boston 14, Jefferson 7. and Demetrius McChester and Isaac Goldsmith be deep for the Lions. Dominic Rivers will tee it up for the Bulldogs.
Wild will take over. Five yards down the line, we face the first and ten. Ball spotted at the 34 yard line. Dog Daniel up the middle. Start by 29 to Travion Smith. 27, Ryan Eater. Pick up a two, second down eight. Take a procedure against the Lions. Back lines up five yards. Second down, 13 for the Lions. Ball start at the 31. Jefferson territory. Ball uh, will be spotted at the 37, first and 10 in Boston. Isaac right, Goldsmith stopped in the backfield. Machine Hector and Chris Bowman there to make the stop. Loss on the play. A three. Second down, 13. Round pass, incomplete. Hilton markers on the field. Malachi Dorsey, the intended receiver. Oh, he's holding on Jefferson. Ball will be spotted at the 30. First down for the Lions, first and ten from the 30-yard line. Caden Glass with filming markers on the field. The Trey Young Smith on the tackle. Blocking the back against the lines. Back the lines up to the 40 yard line. First and 20. 
Well, it's pass complete, Caden Glass. Eric Burns on the tackle. And that's going to be first down yards for the Lions. Ball spotted at the 20, first and 10. Incomplete to Jennifer Bradley Satterfield. Second down, 10. Robin keeps it around right in. Steps out of bounds up to 16. And third down, six. Ball spotted at the 16. Number 39, Will Rodgers, tee it up for the Lions. Number 5, Luke McMullen, back deep. Along with number 3, Cameron Williams. Sixteen, Dylan Washington covers up the onside kick, and the Bulldogs will take over. First and ten, ball spotted at the fifty.
Burns on the keeper. Steps out of bounds at the 20. First down and 10. Number 12, Ronald Garrett Jr. Second down, 10. Timeout, New Boston, their second charge of the half. Don't forget to visit the concession stand tonight for Chick fil A. $5 for a sandwich. You'll get a meal for $8. While you're at it, show your lying spirit. New Boston Athletic Booster Club will be giving away a prize to the most spirited person during tonight's ball game. Dropped by number nine, Dante Thompson. Ball will be spotted on the 20. Third down, 10. Dominic Rivers in to attempt the field goal. And the kick is no good. So a half time score. We box and turn around. Jefferson 7. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first half of your halftime entertainment, Jefferson ISD proudly presents the Jefferson Bulldog Marching Band. Leading the band on the field is senior drum major Keith Smith. The band would like to congratulate your military stride with pride for their exceptional performance at the Military State Marching Contest on Saturday. Tonight, the band will perform parts one and two of their contest show, El Desierto and La Playa. 
featuring Peyton Burkett, Richard Snellgrove, Alice Alan Bautista, Itasia Range, and Kennedy Irving as soloists. Welcome to the field for their halftime performance, the Jefferson High School Strutters. The Strutters will perform to the Lizzo hit, Truth Hurts.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The Jefferson Bulldog Band and Spurs will now exit the field with the Jefferson High School Fight Song. Song to be a song. Oh, no. I have to listen to this song one more time. I don't want to throw it up. Oh, oh, The Jefferson Band is in the direction of Mr. Shannon Hensley, Daniel Hensley, and Miss Haley Hensley. The color guard is directed by Mr. Joshua Robinson. Our starter sponsor is Miss Lisa Robinson. Band members of the week are freshmen Alize Elazne Behan and Elasia Durden. Starters of the week are juniors Sophia Leffler and Carmen Rapley. And color guard members of the week are eighth graders Kennedy Irving and Ashley Smith. Congratulations! Thank you and go Bulldogs! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For your halftime entertainment, the New Boston Independent School District takes tremendous pride in presenting the UIL State Silver Medal Military Stride with Pride. Drum majors for the Military Stride with Pride are seniors Corbin Matthews and Isaac Goldsmith. Majorettes for 2021 are sophomores Ania Darville, Selena Inman, Riley Johns, and Adriana Scott. They will be performing to Lady Gaga's hit song, Born This Way. The band will continue their performance with a part of their precision military drill to E Pluribus Unum by Fred Jewell and St. Julian March by Arthur Hughes.
At this time, we would like to recognize our band seniors. Zoe Braley is the daughter of Kinsey Braley and Craig Stroman. She is being escorted by her parents and her three brothers. Zoe plays alto saxophone and has been part of the Military Stride with Pride for four years. She plans to go into the workforce after she graduates and take college classes while she explores new career opportunities. Zoe would like to give a special thanks to senior band members for being the best group to have by her side all four years in high school. To Mr. Melton, Mr. Holt for always pushing us to do our best, and Mr. Coburn and Miss Renfro for joining our band this year and giving us the extra support we need. Carly Brooks. Carly is the daughter of Denny Brooks and Katrina Brooks. She has been in the band for seven years, military strike with pride for four of them. She is the president of FCCLA. She also plays tennis. After high school, Carly plans to attend the University of Central Arkansas and major in interior design. She wants to thank her friends and family for always sticking by her side throughout everything. Gavin Christensen. <laughs> Gavin is the son of Dean Christensen and Corey Summerson. Gavin has been in New Boston Marching Band for three years and band for seven, and is grateful to have been a part of such a great band. He is not sure where to go, where to, go to school, but seeks to go for welding or coding. Gavin would like to thank everyone, his family, and friends. He would like to thank God for getting him this far and further moving onward in life. He would like to thank his family for giving him the hardest for giving him the hardest times, but also getting through them. Gavin would like to thank everyone that came out today. There are many thanks he could give, but he will stop there so no one feels left out. Gavin has received the History Academic Award, UIL History Award, among others, and is grateful to share the most recent Marching Man State Championship Silver Medal Award. Chris Cochran. Chris is the son of Ron and Paula Cochran. He has been a member of the Lion Band for seven years and the Military Stride with Pride for four of those years. He is currently in National Honor Society and he plans to go into the Navy as a nuclear engineer. Chris would also like to thank Cody, Carter, Corbin, Luca, and Andrew for always being there for him along with his friends and family for always believing in him. Shamira Crawford. Shimeria Crawford. Shimeria is the daughter of LaFay Robertson and Marvin Robertson. She has been a member of the Lion Band for seven years and a part of the Military Stride with Pride for four of those years. She is a member of the National Honor Society, HOSA, and is Vice President of Student Council. She plans to attend Washita Baptist University to become a travel nurse. Shimeria would like to thank her fr family, friends, and teachers for inspiring her to be very, her very best. Isaac Goldsmith. Isaac is the son of Harry and Jeanette Goldsmith. He has been a four-year faithful member of the Military Stride with Pride marching band and received the honor to be one of the NB Band's senior drum majors this year. In band, Isaac has received multiple awards such as section leader, all-region, outstanding musician, outstanding saxophone player, and state qualifier. Isaac has lettered in football and track for multiple years as well. Thanks to the positive influence from Mrs. Fields, Isaac plans to attend a historical black college or university and major in forensic science after graduation. He would like to give a special thank you to Mr. Melton for believing in him, opening doors, and allowing him to flourish in the band. Also, Isaac would like to thank his family for always being there for him, no matter how many miles apart they may be. Last but certainly not least, Isaac would like to thank God for guiding him and directing him keeping his family safe during these unprecedented times, and always being there for him. Luca Goodwin. Luca is the son of Anna and James Goodwin. He's been a member of the Lion Band for seven years and the Military Stride with Pride for four of those years. Luca would like to thank his mom for always pushing him to do his best. He would also like to thank the boys for always being there for him. And last but not least, a special thanks to God for blessing him with another day to enjoy with his peers and family members. And remember, Go Lions!
Cody Huddleston. Cody is the 17-year-old son of John and Belinda Huddleston. Cody has been in the band for seven years, and he's glad he's gotten to do it with his friends. Cody has also been a part of the Lion Legacy Theater for four years, and is happy about that as well. Cody would like to say thank you to everybody that has been there for him, and that he loves each. He wants to especially thank Hannah, Dalton, Patrick, and Zoe for being there from first grade all the way to graduation. It's been a wild, funny, incredible ride. We might have had some bumps on the way, but we made it. He'd like to say thank you to all of his family for helping him figure out this whole life thing, and he just wants to say thank you, and I love you all. Matthew Hunter. Matthew is the son of Dr. Patrick and Heather Hunter. He has been a member of the Lion Band for seven years and the Military Stride with Pride for four of them. He was a member of the band for the 30th, 31st, 32nd, and hopefully 33rd consecutive sweepstakes. Matthew has been a member of the National Honor Society Student Council for two years. He is also a member of the UIL Current Events and Social Studies Academics teams. After high school, he plans to attend either Texas Tech or Oklahoma State and pursue a bachelor's degree in finance and a master's degree in accounting. Once he earns his degrees, he plans to go into real estate and then government. He would like to thank God for his many blessings in life. He would also like to thank his grandparents for making the trips from Indiana and Dallas to be here tonight. He would like to thank his family for listening to his rambles, especially his older sister Sarah, who attempts to decipher the random words he says. He would also like to thank his younger sister Abigail and his cat Ace for always cheering him up. I love you all. Lee Inman. Lee is the son of Rachel and Cesar Romero and Gabriel Inman. Lee has played flute in the NBHS band for three years and has been a part of Lion Legacy Theater for all four years of high school. After high school, he plans to attend Texas A&M Commerce to major in musical theater and minor in education. He would like to thank Ms. Lida for helping him see his calling and bring him into a theater program where he's found not only friends, but a family. He would also like to thank his parents for always being there to cheer him on and his two best friends for making high school fun. Kalise Linden. Kalise is the daughter of Rachi Ann Barber and Oliver Campbell. Kalise has been a member of the Lion Band for seven years. She has been a member of the Military Stride with Pride for four years and a part of sweepstakes 30, 31, 32, and soon to be 33. Kalise has been a member of HOSA for two years and a member of Yearbook for two years. Kalise plans on attending University of Texas at Arlington to complete her bachelor's degree of science in nursing where she'll become a nurse and a and a yeah. Kalise would like to thank her yearbook teacher Miss Vaughn for always making her laugh, her best friend Jada Smith for always being there for her, and last but not least her parents for always encouraging her to be the best and to keep pushing no matter what. Kalise would always also would also like to wish good luck to the football boys tonight. Go Lions! Corbin Matthews. Corbin is the son of Charlie Matthews and Leslie Matthews. He has been in the Military Stride with Pride marching band for four years and was given the opportunity to lead the band as a senior drum major this year. Throughout his high school, Corbin has played baseball as a second baseman, has been on the varsity his junior and senior year. After high school, Corbin plans to attend college majoring in engineering. He would like to give a special thanks to his friends Luca, Carter, Andrew, Chris, and Cody for making his high school experience so much fun, and Addison for always being there for him. He would also like to thank his family for all the love and support they get, have given him. Last but not least, he would like to thank God for guiding him in the right direction. Lillian McGill. Lillian is the 17-year-old daughter of Natoya McGill. She is being escorted by her mother, her two brothers, Jalen and Jomar Smith, her grandparents, Sharon and Anthony Turner, Monique and Larry McGill, Carol and Gerald Lawson. She is a member of the National Honor Society, Secretary of the Student Council, member of the Lady Lions varsity doubles tennis team for three years, who went to regionals in the spring of 2021, and a proud flute player in the New Boston High School Military Stride with Pride Band for four years is one of two section leaders who helped the band win second place, the UIL 3A Military State Marching Contest. 
Lillian plans on majoring in psychology with a minor in criminology. She would also like to send a special thanks to her mother, all of her family, and her great friends for the tremendous love and unwavering support she has received throughout the years. Kiera Neville. Kiera is the daughter of Jackie Neville and the granddaughter of Teresa Neville and Dwight Neville. She has served as president of her class for four years, the secretary of COSA for one year, and has been a member of the student council for four years where she is currently a reporter. Kiera is currently section leader in the New Boston Military Band, which is, she has been a member of for six years. Kiera plans to attend Sam Houston State University to earn her bachelor's degree in Homeland Security. She would like to thank her amazing family and friends for being there for her through everything. Carter Smith. Carter is the son of Harold and Michelle Smith. He is being escorted by his parents and his Nana. Carter has been a member of the New Boston Military Strive of Pride for seven years and has been section leader for the drumline for two years. He also has been a member of Lion Legacy Theater for four years and has served as president of the theater company for two years. After high school, he plans to pursue his dream of making a career out of music. Carter would like to thank Andrew, Luca, Chris, Corbin, and Cody for being his brothers from the beginning. would like to thank Miss Lida and the theater group for being like a second family. Finally, he would like to thank his parents for helping him through all the school years as well as his walk in Christ. Jada Smith. Jada is the daughter of Jerome and Joy Smith. Jada has been a member of the New Boston Band for seven years. She has been a part of New Boston Military Strive with Pride for four years and a part of Sweepstakes 30, 31, 32, and soon to be 33. Jada is also part of HOSA for four years, currently a HOSA officer. Uh, she plans to attend Prairie View A&M University in Houston, Texas to major in nursing and become a neonatal nurse. Jada would like to thank God and her parents for being there every step of the way. Lastly, she would like to thank her best friends, Khalees and Elijah, for always being there and getting on her nerves. Kendallin Smithson. Kendallin is the daughter of Brandon and Misty Smithson. She has been a member of the Lion Band for seven years, Military Strive with Pride for four years, and section leader the last two years. Uh, she's been a part of sweepstakes 30, 31, 32, and soon to be 33. She's been the member of the All Region Band for three years. She's been a member of NHS for two years. She would like to thank her mom and dad for all of their love and support over the years to Abby, Corbin, and Dawson. I love you guys. Devlin Stiver. Devlin is the son of Paul Stiver and Jessica Wilson. Devlin has been a member of the New Boston Lion Band for four and a half years. He plans He's played flute for three of his four years and is now playing piccolo. Devlin doesn't know what he wants to do yet, but is considered joining either the workforce or the military. He would like to thank his uh, Devlin would like to thank his mom Jessica for always pushing him to great heights. His dad Paul for bouncing back in his life. He would also like to thank his stepdad Richard for being the role model he needs. To Luca Goodwin and Erica Duke for being his best friends. The list would go on and on, but he said that they will all keep it short. Your New Boston Band Seniors.
for the Lions. Malachi Dorsey, Demetrius McChester, and I have a goal from the back seat. Dominic River will key it up for the Bulldogs to start the second half. The Goldsmith on the return. Down by number 12. Number 18, Parker Grubbs. Lions are going to take over. First and 10, ball spot at the 35. Glass on the carry. Stop by the Travion Smith. Second down, seven for the Lions. Don Daniels made up a line of scrimmage. Ryan Muter. And Keyshawn Whitaker there makes a stop. Third down seven. Ball spotted at the 38 yard line for the line. Rounds pass incomplete, intended for number 27, Isaac Goldsmith. Fourth and seven for the Lions with number two, Connor Bobbitt, dropping back into punt formation for the Lions. Cortavian Massingale and Luke McMullen back deep for the Bulldogs. McMullen on the return. Knocked down by number 51, Wyatt Allen. The Bulldogs will take over first and 10 from their own 31. Number three, Cameron Williams on the carry. Dropped by number eight, Caden Hall. Second out, Warren, ball spotted at the 40.
procedure call against the rabbits. Excuse me, the bulldogs. Back them up five. Second down, six. Cameron Williams on the carry. Stopped by eight, Caden Hall on 27 out of Goldsmith. That will be enough yards for a first down. Ball spotted at the 44. Williams, the ball carrier. Stopped by Marquise Frazier. And Willie Henson. Second down, seven. Pass complete. Number four, Chris Bowman. Ball will be spotted at New Dawson 45, first and 10. Finally brought down by number 20, Chris Ganaway. Ball be spotted at the 22, first and 10, throw it off. Pass intended number four, Chris Bowman. And penalty markers on the field. Penalty marker will be waved off. Second down, 10. Ball start on the Bulldogs. Five yards walk off against Jefferson. Second down, 15. Burns pass complete. Number four, Chris Bowman for the touchdown. Dominic Rivers in to attempt the point after touchdown. The kick is good. 
Seven minutes, 27 seconds left to go in the third quarter. New Boston 21, Jefferson 14. Goldsmith back deep to the line. Number six, Dominic Rivers to kick off for the Bulldogs. Tackled by a host of Bulldogs. Ball's going to be spotted. The 18 yard line, the Lions will take over first and 10. the ball carrier. Judson Carter there for the stop. Along with Parker Grubb. Second down five. Daniel on the carry. Pick up a two. Leave the line facing. Third down and two. Chess with the ball carrier, Parker Grubbs and Cortavian Massingill. Uh, stop. The two Connor Bobbitt back in front formation. Carter and Massingill back deep for Jefferson. Down at the 43 with the Bulldogs to take over first and 10.
Jeremy Lurland stopped in the backfield. Jonah Sanchez and Isaac Goldsmith there on the stop. Loss of two, second down, 12. Number five, Luke McMullen. Third down, 12, from the 41 yard line. Willie Henson there on the tackle. Ball will be spotted just inside the 50 at 49. Fourth and three. Pick up the first down. Stop by Connor Bobbitt. Ball will be spotted at the 45, first and 10. Chris Bergman. Connor Bobbitt in coverage. Second down, 10. facing fourth and nine. Yeah, 
Dante Thompson, the ball carrier. against New Boston. And Jefferson will take over on the turnover. First and 10 for Jefferson. Ball started at the 40 yard line. Jefferson. Number six, Dominic Rivers, Angel Attempta, PAT, out of the hold of number ten, Judson Carter. Two minutes, two seconds to go in the first quarter. He lost in 21, Jefferson 20. back deep for the lines. Number six, Dominic Rivers. Kick off for Jefferson. Markers on the field. <laughs> the only marker is waved off. Kickoff. 
personal foul to call against Jefferson. Fifteen yards steps off and place the ball right at midfield. First and ten, New Boston. Pass complete. Number 32, Willie Hanson. First down the order, the ball spotted up at 38. First and 10, New Boston. Daniel over the left tackle. Travis Hayes. And on the tackle, along with the trade on Smith. Pick up the three, second down, seven. Seven line here. That's first down yardage. Ball spotted at the 27 yard line. First and 10. Last round left hand. First out of bounds for number 10, Judson Carter. Second down, eight. Excuse me, second down, two. Um, Daniel up the middle. Keyshawn Whitaker and Ron Eater there for the stop. And that will do it for the third quarter. New Boston 21, Jefferson 20. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to recognize the New Boston class of 2001 in for tonight's ball game. Welcome back to Lions Stadium, New Boston Lions class of 2001. New Boston Athletic Bishop, I'd like to thank Judge Addison, Judge Miller, Judge Henry, Judge Hawkins, County Clerk Tina Petty, and Treasurer Donna Barnes for working on home side concessions. Also, Mr. Clerk Lloyd Carraway and staff for working with business staff and session staff. Make sure you stop by the fish stand for Chick fil A, $5 for a sandwich, and get a meal for $8. Thank you. Start the fourth quarter, New Boston will be looking at second down three, cross spotted the 19th. Yeah, third down, two. Casey Glass around left end.
official timeout for measurement. Talk about number nine, Anthony Turner. The only is on the play. Holding against the lines is the call. Number nine, Anthony Turner. Number two, Anthony Turner. Walks off against the line. First and 20, all started at the 27. Number two, Cortavian Massengill. Number one, there's on the play. The Bulldogs, 15 yards and walked off. First down, ball started at the 14 yard line, first and 10.
the second third. It's 11-0-2. Left to go in the ball game. The two boxes, 28. Jefferson, 20. Cameron Williams and J.D. Roots. Back deep for Jefferson.
Brown goes into the end zone for the touchback. Ball will be started up to 20. New Boston takes over first and 10. Is on the play. Unsportsmanlike like conduct, offsetting. down five for New Boston, the 41, to the 36. Brown's pass, Kenneth, number 32, really Henson, incomplete, and the four Chris Bowman on the Coverage. The Lions will be facing fourth down and five. Connor Bobbitt back deep to punt for the Lions with Massengill. Carter back deep for the Bulldogs. Luke McMullen, fair catch at the 35-yard line where the 
Jefferson Bulldogs will take over first and ten. The ball carrier, Melvin Knox is on the field. Holding on Jefferson is the ball. George marked off against Jefferson. First and 18. Turn pass incomplete. Second and 18. Burns canceled. He put out to the 50. Now we're brought down by number four, Malachi Dorsey. He first down in Jefferson. Cameron Williams. Stop by Dalton Daniels. Second down, seven. Cameron Williams up the middle. Willie Henson on the tackle. First down for Jefferson. Ball spotted at the 30. Eight yard line. Ben dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, I was a goldsmith. Down third swing, ball slide up the 41 yard line. Bill Mark is on the field. Offside against the line. Off. 
second down eight is the Bulldogs. Dante Thompson, the ball carrier, lost on the play. Charge time out of the house. We're facing third down 14. Off by up to four. Oh, 
for Elton's pass intended. Malachi Dorsey incomplete. Leave the Lions facing fourth and 14. Connor Bobbitt back in front formation. Spotted at the 21 yard line, first and 10. Cameron <laughs> Williams, led by Willie Henson, dropped to the backfield. down 10. Ashton Williams on the intended receiver. Number five, Demetrius McChester in coverage. Third down, ten. Time 
timeout, New Boston. Their first charge timeout of the half.